Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Red Dirt Rods. Today I want to talk to you about catch cams. These are really important for LS and LT engines as well as any other direct injected engine. The biggest problem is that Direct injected engines don't have fuel washing over the intake valves. So your PCV system is pulling out oil vapor from the crankcase that goes through the intake. In a non-DI engine, fuel washes over those intake valves and knocks off the carbon that shows up from the oil. In a DI engine, there is no fuel going through the intake at all and those intake valves get coated. GM Gen 5 LT series engines generate a lot of oil vapor. They get a ton of carbon coking on the intake valves to the point that they will start sticking in as little as 5,000 miles. You can solve this issue by installing a catch can. This is an Earl's catch can that we picked up from Holly along with these Earl's fittings, a breather, and some super stock hose. And we're gonna show you how to install this on a Gen 5 LT1 so you can do it for your project. On GM Gen 5 LT series engines, there are two halves of the PCV system. So there's the dirty side, which is the valley cover underneath the intake that runs, that's the actual PCV valve and then it runs to just behind the throttle body on the intake. The clean side of the PCV system is on the top of the valve covers. Now there's no valve there, it's just a baffled hole. And those two hoses run to the air intake tube to ensure that it's metered air and that flows into the engine. Now that part of the system works in two ways. The clean side goes from vacuum to pressure under different conditions. So at cruise and part throttle, it's pulling vacuum. At wide open throttle and heavy acceleration, it's actually your clean air entry. We're going to eliminate that on our LT1 with this filter. This is a replacement for the oil filler. So this threads into the valve cover. We put this little adapter here, and then the air filter goes right here so that your engine can have fresh, clean air coming in. The catch can will be the only part of the system that actually has vacuum. We're going to run our catch can on the actual PCV valve in between the valley cover and the throttle body. We're gonna mount this in front of the radiator just to keep things clean under the hood, run a dash eight and dash six line to our valley cover and throttle body. We're gonna do it all with Earl's plumbing. Let's get started. All right, so we're here on my 71 Buick GS. So this is the vacuum fitting on our atomic air intake. And this is the quick connect fitting that we're gonna use for the vacuum. This looks just like a GM quick connect for fuel, which is 3 8 but it's not. It's actually 10 millimeter and they do not fit. You can drill the inside of this out and replace the 3 8 O-rings with 10 millimeter O-rings, which is what I have done here. And then that just snaps on. So this down here, this fitting right here, this is a, 10 millimeter fitting. We're using a dash eight on this side. This is the actual PCV valve in the valve cover. Again, just gonna take that quick connect, snap it right in place. So this is our Earl's catch can. It comes with some really large ports, but we don't need it to be that big. So I have this dash six adapter from Earl's and on this one, a dash eight. I would have used the same size, but I can't get this fitting in a dash six. So you can see with our supercharger and all this stuff, we're pretty cluttered under the hood and I wanna clean that up. So we're gonna actually move this out front. We're gonna put it on our grill support. So we're actually gonna mount this right here. That'll give us easy access to the drain port, which we can put a bung on and put a little hose coming down. So it'll be nice and clean and it'll be out of the way. So what I'm gonna do, take a Sharpie and I'm gonna mark it there. And I'm gonna lower it a little bit. 
I'm gonna go ahead and lower it. So this grill support has been modified, so I wanna find the right spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark it here. We'll put a straight edge. We'll make sure these are level. I've just got the grill just kind of sitting in here for a mock-up to make sure that we have clearance. And I'm just gonna carefully pull this out. Uh, ah, there we go. Set this aside. We don't have to pull this out. We could do this on the car, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out anyways. It's two bolts. Let's go to the bench. So I already know that this is fully vertical. Put our straight up edge up against it and we're maybe a 16th of an inch off. I'm gonna go ahead and remark right on the center. I'm going to drill this out and install some riv nuts to make this clean. So we're gonna install some quarter 20 riv nuts. In order to do that, I need to open these up to 3 eighths of an inch, which we're gonna do in a couple of stages. I've already drilled it out with an eighth inch pilot. Now we're gonna drill it out with 5 sixteenths. Ow! Clean this up. In order to make the intercooler fit, I had to section a big chunk of this out, which means I have added a brace right here. There's a couple of welds. I need to dress those down so the riv nuts fit. All of this is gonna get disassembled at some point in the future when we redo the uh, underhood of the car because the firewall needs painted a bunch of other work but for now we're just going to throw these in and it'll get painted later we take the riv nut and we thread it on our tool here we drop it in and then give it a squeeze and you unthread it looks pretty good that ought to work oh oh, oh hold on guys Take my purse off. <clears throat> now we're gonna take our catch can. I'm using a... Now we're gonna mount our catch can. We've got a quarter 20 bolt, a washer, and a flat washer. Catch cans mounted, all we gotta do, run the lines. Now we're gonna install the breather. So over here, we're just gonna take this cap off. Okay, before we do that, we're gonna assemble this. We've got the O-rings on it. And find which tool will fit. I don't have a dedicated AN wrench that fits this particular fitting, but I do have an adjustable one. Because this isn't a critical fitting, I'm not gonna worry about it, but there we go. Then we put the filter on. Then this goes right here. There we go. Okay, these this one and this one, those are gonna get capped off. I could run these into my air intake, but, but that's not gonna work because we have the Pro Charger. Right now we're set up NA, and the way we're, gonna, the way we're plumbing this system is, is all for NA. So if you're running an NA car, you could go ahead and connect to these and run those to your air intake they will work as they're supposed to. But because I have boost, this is going to eventually run over into our intercooler and be boosted. And I can't have pressure coming into the crankcase. So when we go boost, 
this will actually go from here over to the inlet on the supercharger, which will draw a constant vacuum and solve the issue. But for now, we're just gonna cap these off because we don't need them. Now, we need to make our lines. We've got a length of Earl's half inch super stock hose. This is Earl's assembly lube. Just gonna put a bit of this on the fitting. We take this, we just hold the fitting the hose and just push that on. Do you need to put a hose clamp on that? Nope. Yeah? Nope. Oh. The beauty of this is these don't need hose clamps and they're good for 250 PSI. If you're going above that, you can put a crimp on style ferrule, which I have, but I rarely use them because you don't need them. But this is vacuum, so we don't need it at all. So now what we're gonna do is just kinda lightly thread this on, figure out our routing. We're gonna bring this around about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here. I may have to trim it a little more, but I hope not. So we've got our hose route, routed from here under the intake through the, through the bracket down here and it'll get secured here to the inner fender well. Then it comes through up front. This will come up over here. Get secured right there. So I can go ahead and cut this here. Fitting. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now three eighths line. So we've got our three eighths line routed and it's just gonna come up here, go into a straight fitting like this. So I'm just gonna cut this right here, give myself a little bit of slack, little lube. Okay, press that in. And tighten her up. We just gotta clean up our hoses a little bit we're ready to go. That's all there is to installing an Earl's catch can. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Let's make magic.